Robert Pinsky's City Elegies calls up the points of contact between brute urban matter and everything that happens where the city happens to be. The poems elegize what's always in the process of vanishing. The little that the city lets show of the tribes that meet in it is sung from the water up to the rooftops and above. Its music at the end is poised to be brought back around again and again to any of its six beginnings. It's a poem I relive each time I read it with an intensity that comes from me only in the classics. City Elegies, 1. The Daydreamers All day, all over the city, every person wanders a different city, sealed intact and haunted as the abandoned subway stations under the city. Where is my alley doorway? Stone gable, brick escarpment, cliffs of crystal. Where is my terrace street above the harbor? Cafe and hidden workshop, house of love. Webbed vault, tiled blackness. Where is my park, the path through conifers, my iron bench, a shiver of ivy and margin birch above the traffic? A voice. There is a mountain and a wood between us, one wrote lovesick, where the late hunter and the bird have seen us. Aimless at dusk, heart muttering like any derelict, or working all morning, violent with will. Where is my garland of lights, my silver rail? Two, everywhere I go, there I am. Hot days of errands and badges, paper, shrill rage of sparrows morning and evening. At sunset, a clearing stroll around the square and down a steep street twisting to the edge of the narrows, the brick embankment path and the iron rail the same as always. The water. All through your body, a steady twinkling of ceasing and being, the cells that die by millions and replicate themselves, so every seven years your substance is new. But the same score the same scar making a faint crescent along your temple, always fading, the blood all different but the same from day to day, the city birds along the harbor working the cracks and hedges, the titan moan of a tanker blasting and receding, the range of noises, a fretwork of the bay, the night. 3. House Hour Now, the pale honey of a kitchen light burns at an upstairs window, the sash a cross. Milky daylight moon, the sky scored by phone lines, houses in rows patient as cows. Dormers and gables of an immigrant street in a small city, the wind-worn afternoon shading into night. Hundreds of times before, I have felt it in some district of shingle and downspout at just this hour. The renter walking home from the bus carrying a crisp bag. Maybe a store visible at the corner, neon at dusk. Macaroni mist fogging the glass. Unwilled, seductive as music, brief as dusk itself, the forgotten mirror brushed for dozens of years by the same gray light, the same shadows of soffit and beam end, a reef of old snow glowing along the walk. If I am hollow or if I am heavy with longing, the same. The ponderous houses of siding, fur framing, horsehair plaster, fired bricks in a certain light, changing nothing but touching those separate hours of the past, and now at this one time of day, touching this one, last spokes of light silvering the attic dust. Four, street music. Sweet Babylon headphones, song bones, at a slate stairway's base, alone and unready, not far from the taxis and bars around the old stone station, 
in the bronze, ordinary afternoon light, to find yourself back behind that real city and inside this other city where you slept in the street. Your bare feet, gray tunic of a child, coarse sugar of memory. Salt Nineveh of barrows and stalls, the barber with his copper bowl, beggars and grain sellers, the alley of writers of letters in different dialects, stands of the ear cleaner, tailor, spicer, reign of Asur Banipal, hemp woman, whore merchant, hand porter, errand boy, child sold from a doorway. Candy Memphis of exile and hungers, honey callons and drays, syrup sellers and sicknesses, runes, donkeys, yams, tunes on the mouth harp, shuffles and rags. Healer, dealer, drunkard, fresh water, sewage. Wherever you died in the market, Sometimes your soul flows a hunting buried cakes here in the city. Five, soot. Archaic, the trains mated with our human blood. Stone trestle, abutment wall. Above the tracks, a rakish exile Santa lashed to a pole. Black cinders, burdock, sumac. Pepsi, cellophane, each syllable a filament in the cord of a word net knotted in the passionate shadows of skeletal vine and bean pole in one backyard along the embankment. Here with dirty thunder, deliberate, heavy creatures before the light of morning made the bedroom windows tremble with lordly music and their exhalations tingled our nostrils. Railbed tavern and church of former slaves, synagogue of the low, Sicilian grocery, Polish creche. A seed of particles that Zeus-like penetrated the bread and carboned the garden tomatoes. Even our sheets that bucked and capered in the wind flashed whiter than others, tempered by iron black bleaching to armor in silver winter sun. Six, the tuning. Soon in this plaza, high above the harbor, under the statue of St. Magnus Martyr, the gypsy orchestra will begin to play. Down on the borders of the immigrant ghetto, couples are gathering at the Montenegro and the Club Republique. But at the close of day, these strings of lights and early summer weather bring us here. Smell of traffic, tentative laughter from cafe tables, a trickle of television leaking from the open window of an apartment above us. Clean cotton, perfume, garlic, the sunset making the pavement red with expectation. And now we are the city, the mighty avenues named for historic dates, the alleyways, the brands of car and liquor, the souk, the stone obelisk and the old slave market. Now the nervous tangle of tones and scales is suspended, the players all schooling their single route to the raised baton. <laughs>